Thank you for watching MMA Odds Breaker. I am Frank Trigg, of course. That is Dustin Poirier. He's getting ready to fight. Coming up here on UFC 164, he's fighting Eric Koch. What's going on, Dustin? How's it been, bud? Good, man. Uh, everything's been going good. It's smooth. Let's get the general question that you get from every broadcaster and media guy. How's training camp going? How's your weight? How's everything going for the preparation for this fight? And uh, here's the generic. Everything's great. It's the best camp I've ever had. I'm in the best shape of my life. But uh, no, nah, man, this time I really, I really do feel that way. Uh, I really feel like I'm coming at home, you know, at American Top Team. And uh, it's my third fight with them. Uh, I'm really getting along with all the guys and the trainers. And, uh, you know, I'm learning a lot. And I really feel like this is my home. And I have a full camp, unlike my last fight. So I'm just excited to go in there and, and really show who I am and, and the fighter I've become over here. Okay, so let's talk about the, that last fight, Cub Swanson. You lost your unanimous decision. You just said you didn't have a full camp. What happened during that camp? Well, uh, I, I accepted the fight a couple weeks after I fought Jonathan Brookins at the Ultimate Fighter finale. And, uh, you know, I, use, I, I eat a lot after my fights. I do enjoy myself. But uh, I, I put on a little bit of weight, and I was kind of heavy when they called. They called around four weeks. You know, Dennis Silver got hurt. And uh, I really just thought it was a great fight for me. It was going to be fun. And, and you know how, you know, as a fighter, I'm going to win, of course. So I said, yeah, man, let's do it. I'm excited. And, and it turned out, you know, I probably should have took a step back and, and not accepted it so quick. And, and But, you know, it's a learning experience. And, and, and uh, for, for the future of my career, I've learned from it. You know, but I, I put up a good fight, you know, not being – I felt like I wasn't ready to, to fight. There, it wasn't – it was a really good fight. Like, I had a – it was an enjoyable fight to watch, even though you did lose the decision. You didn't give up, even though being, being you know, at that – you could have gone, hey, here's your excuse. I had a short camp. I was fat when I started camp. I wasn't in shape when I started camp, so I can just I can bail out of this fight at any point. And you right. didn't. You stuck in the whole time, so that goes to your mental toughness. Now, when you beat up Jonathan Brookins, you showed us your physical toughness. You're saying now that everything's put together. Are you back with your physical and your mental are combined now to get ready for Eric? I'm back better than I've ever been. I feel like I'm more prepared to fight than I've ever been in my life. I'm, I'm comfortable with fighting has put me and my wife. My wife's living here with me in Florida now. At the time of the Cubs Watson fight, she was at school in Louisiana, yeah. and I was here by myself. And that was the first time I've had a big fight, you know, by myself. I don't know, uh, other fighters who are married might know, you know, but it, yeah. I was going through it by myself, and I went through with the fight in the camp and uh, the hard weight cut, you know. I cut 30 pounds the week of the fight, and, uh, you know, I'm ready now, man. I'm excited. I'm excited. It, it's it's going to be refreshing to, to reintroduce myself to the fans. Did your wife graduate? Is that why she's she's back, or is she just out of school for this for the summer? She uh she's moved here and finished up school here, but she's got to go back. When we uh yeah, in the future she's gonna finish up what she was going for. What what's her degree in? She was in nursing. Oh, and okay. Now she's in uh, uh, uh skincare. Okay. What uh what is different about Eric Koch from all the other guys that you fought? Like, what does he bring that you haven't seen yet, or or, or that's gonna be new to you? You know, uh, I don't know how many fans know this, but this is my uh, 25th fight or 26th fight. So, you know, I, I fought all kinds of different guys, age, styles, um, but he's a good kickboxer and he brings a mental toughness, you know, and he really believe. I think he really believes in himself and, and that makes him dangerous. You know, he's out there training with Pettis and uh, Duke Rufus and he, he's a tough southpaw, a good kickboxer, but I think uh, he might be getting a little bit ahead of himself. You know, he's never fought a great kickboxer. And a lot of people think I'm a jiu-jitsu guy, but, man, right. I've been kickboxing longer than I've been doing jiu-jitsu. Well, it's because of coming from American Top Team. Everybody from American Top Team's a good jits guy, and the automatic assumption is that that's where you started because of how right. good Laborio is as a coach. You can take a guy that's right. never done jits before, only done Muay Thai, and all of a sudden he has a real legitimate, strong jits game for mixed martial arts. And that's kind of what the, the way you fell into the line. Do you believe that Eric's going to have a hometown advantage? Because it is in Milwaukee. That's where he's training. Is that hometown advantage going to help or hurt him come fight night? Man, uh, it's going to be my hometown that night. You know, this is my house when I get there. Wherever that cage is set up, it's my house. But, you know, you, you never know what kind of guy he is mentally. Some guys might uh, embrace that and, and use it and, and use that energy for good. Some guys might get nervous because all their family's there. So you never know, you know, I'm not banking on that to, to really affect him. I hope he comes the best he's ever been, you know, and I'll beat the best Eric Koch that night. Thanks, Dustin, for coming on here with MMA Oddsbreaker. Good luck against Eric Koch. I, I, it's going to be a great fight. I really want to see you at full capacity because I, I do know from, from hanging out with uh, 
uh, and talking to Dean so much that uh, that you were a little off during your last training camp. And he even said on this one that it's it's kind of scary now when he goes into practice. He's he's a little worried having to spar with you and having to work out with you because you do will do a lot of damage to him if the opportunity arises. Which means from an old veteran like like Dean Thomas, he's got to be on his game even in practice, and that's tough for a young kid at 24 walking in and putting a veteran on his heels. Where he's like, oh, I got to really think. I really got to concentrate when I'm with Dustin. So that's a long way, at least to me. That comes. That means a lot to me when a veteran like that says how tough this kid is in practice. All right. Yeah, that's a huge compliment to me as well, man. And me and Dean have uh, we get some good good scraps in the gym. All right, man. Good luck coming up there against Eric. We'll talk to you soon, bud. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. You got it.